Welcome to a short take on scripture by www.luke1425.org because Jesus said to sit down. Salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is fit neither for the soil nor for the manure pile. It is thrown out. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Luke 14, 34-35 Jesus warned church preaching could become unfit for the manure pile if the following is ignored or watered down. Large crowds around the world travel with Jesus, but they are not disciples of Jesus. Being a traveler or disciple, it all depends on the following. In Luke 14 we read, Large crowds were traveling with Jesus, and turning to them he said, Jesus said without explanation, Jesus said without apology, Jesus said without compromise, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, his wife and children, his brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Anyone who does not carry his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Luke 14, verse 26 to 27. Jesus repeats this cross carrying demand again in John 12, 25. The man who loves his life will lose it, while the man who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. John 12, 25. That is why it is best to sit down and find out what all of this will mean before claiming to be a Christian. This hatred is not an evil worldly kind of anger or vengeance that does harm to others. This is a spiritual hating in the heart and soul, which cleanses a person from sin-stained loves and motivations. From this cross-carrying hatred, honest and loving actions will follow, because such a person is a disciple of Jesus rather than a mere traveler. If Jesus is to be obeyed in truth and spirit, it will cost you everything first. The result is a powerful holy love for others that only God can work in a person's life. This is one reason why Jesus said, sit down and think about what it really means to be a disciple of Jesus. To build a tower, an individual must estimate the cost of what it would take to finish the project before starting to lay bricks. In the same way, to follow Jesus, an individual had better sit down and think hard what it will cost him or her before attempting to build. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Will he not first sit down and estimate the cost to see if he has enough money to complete it? For if he lays the foundation and is not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Luke 14 verses 28 to 30 Think of war. War has broken out between a holy God and sinful mankind. God is on the march with his army and the judgment day is swiftly approaching. In this world, if war breaks out, kings have to judge whether they can win the battle. They have to estimate what it would take to win against their opponent. In the same way, everyone in the world is about to lose their battle with God, because He is King of Kings. There is only one option for winning against God, total surrender. Total giving up of everything, body, mind, soul, and spirit. To have the peace of Jesus in your life requires that these terms of peace be surrendered to every hour of every day. Or suppose a king is about to go to war against another king. Will he not first sit down and consider whether he is able with 10,000 men to oppose the one coming against him with 20,000? If he is not able, he will send a delegation, while the other is still a long way off and will ask for terms of peace. In the same way, any of you who does not give up everything he has cannot be my disciple. Luke 14 verses 31 to 33 Let us listen well to what Jesus just said, as he means business. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Luke 14 35 This video is brought to you by www.luke1425.org because Jesus told those seeking him to sit down and think about the cost.